Alright, so yesterday I watched the new One Piece Stampede movie in theaters in Japan and I have to tell you it's the best One Piece movie we have seen so far. The only one that comes close in my opinion is the One Piece Gold movie in terms of the overall quality, the music, the graphics, the animation and all, and all of that. So to get right into it, why I think this movie is the best they have all the major characters gathering in one place so you know you're up for a show just with that and uh, I'm talking all of the supernovas all of the captains come we have the admirals we have the revolutionary army uh, only Sao but we have Rob Lucci from CP0 we have Fujitora we have Smoker and Tashigi of course all of the straw hats and uh, the movie starts kind of slowly. I mean, you, they're all coming to this island and we have a little bit of like getting to know the side characters, the kind of the overall setup. We kind of see the different parts of the island that looks so beautiful, the, just the sea animations and the sun reflection it looks gorgeous. In terms of the visuals, the animation, the movie is absolutely stunning. They even brought back the old opening, uh, We Are on the Cruise, I believe, which was very, very hype when the movie was culminating, but we're gonna, we're gonna get into it. So I would love to break this review in two sections. The first one being the good sides of the movie, and of course there are some bad sides which I'm gonna talk about later. And it's very, very minor, it, just something that caught my eye but overall I think the movie is like 9 out of 10 only the gold movie comes close as I've already stated so the movie opens up we are coming to this island and uh, Law is already there he, we can see him being banged up Buggy's already there and Buggy is like you gotta love Buggy and uh, the movie starts with um, everybody going on this knock up stream and who's gonna this knock up stream takes the whole island where the Rogers gold is hidden. So the crew's gotta go on this knock up stream and get launched into the air and land on this island. And of course, Sunny having coup de barst and however Frankie calls it, super. They go there first, all of the supernovas get there, Buggy gets there, and the race, the stampede begins towards this gold. And of course, the two best and strongest characters get to see what's inside of the box first. And when I say the best and the strongest, of course, I mean Buggy and Usopp. And as soon as Usopp opens the box, the main villain of the movie, Bullet, the member, ex-member of the Rogers crew, grabs Usopp, just crushes his head and throws him apart and then the real fight starts. We have all of the supernovas, the captains, the vice captains against the Bullet. And Bullet makes really quick work of them and then people start getting separated. People like Zoro and Killer, they go on to their respective ships to save the crews because the Buster Call is being called by the tournament festival organizer, Festa and they are going to communicate that to their crews and to save the ships and everything. So we have Zoro versus Fujitora one-on-one, -on -one, which is hype, mad hype. So they're fighting off, Fujitora uses some of the named attacks and Zoro uses, and it's kind of a stalemate. They're not going all in, but it's in kind of an equal fight. And then Fujitora pulls out the meteor and just goes away and everybody's like, oh my god, we're gonna die. Bartolomeo starts panicking and all of that good stuff. And Zoro just jumps in the air and like slashes that meteor in half. And there's like nothing I can't cut. He cuts the meteor, but the meteor splits into two and starts falling on the ground anyway. So it's still kind of dangerous. At that point, Mihawk shows up slashes the meteor into many tiny pieces and just looks at Zoro and like, yeah, I got your back. He's like, yeah. So he helped out Zoro. That was a great moment. Still kind of showing the difference in swordsmanship 
that's be between the two, so Zoro is still not on that Mihawk level yet. We have some throwbacks at uh, Bullet mentions Whitebeard and uh, Roger, how insanely powerful they were. And the whole fight breaks loose. I mean, Luffy go goes gear fourth, he gets Snake Man, he, he gets crushed. All of the Supernova just get like dominated by Bullet. And all of that is very, very, very action-packed, high-octane, overall great action. We have Shichibukai, and we have Luffy, and Smoker, and Crocodile, and Buggy teaming up together to take out Bullet. And those are all the good sides of the movie. Just all of our favorite characters are there, displaying their power, it looks amazing. Now. To get into the bad uh, parts of it, they used quite a lot of CG, which I wasn't a fan of. Namely, Bullet, this new villain, has some kind of a submarine ship and he becomes this huge robot. And then he becomes even bigger by using his devil fruit, I guess. And he becomes this stone, metal stone giant, bigger than the island itself, and just starts smacking everybody, and nobody can touch him. And it's we have those CGI scenes for an extended period of time. And I'm not saying the CGI looked bad, it looked very, very good, don't get me wrong, but um, it, it, it's just something that I think lasted a little bit too long. So if they, if they made it a little bit shorter, I would appreciate it. But um, anyway, all of, the, all of the people team up and Sabo comes and Boa Hancock and Law, Crocodile, Smoker, of course, Buggy. And Usopp is the instrumental part of taking down the main villain, which is kind of surprising. And we finally take down the main villain and Luffy grabs onto the treasure that's a little old box and only Buggy and Usopp have seen what it is inside. Usopp's being knocked out, Buggy's running for his life. So Luffy goes to open it and sees what's inside, grabs it and all of a sudden Crocodile and Rob Lucci come away to come, come to snitch it from him and Luffy just crushes it. And we, we learn what the reward actually was, what the treasure was. It was the eternal luck pose towards Raftal. And so far, we had no idea how to pronounce Raftal, the name of the final island, or how it is actually spelled. And in this movie, we actually find out it's Laugh Tail. So it's not Raftal, it's Laugh Tail which, considering Roger's character, really makes sense. And Luffy crushes it, and people are like, why did you do that for? Are you crazy? And Luffy's like, I don't need this, I want to do this my own way, I want to have an adventure. And at that moment we have a flashback to what Roger did when uh, his crew made the eternal log pose and everything, and Roger takes it and just looks at it and he's like, no, we, we don't need it, this is no fun. And just throws it into the sea, which is where Bullet kind of picked it up secretly. And uh, that's a nice little parallel between just the characters of Luffy and Roger and how similar they actually are. And that's why Luffy's gonna become the King of the Pirates. So anyway, Buster Call gets called up and Marines are surrounding this festival island and they start, Kizaru is there re leading the Buster Call and we have no way of escaping. And all of the supernovas are on their ships trying to get away from the Marines and the Marines open fire and it's really troublesome. And at that point, Sabo shows up and you can just hear he can the the fire fist and it actually two torrents you can hear two voices and two torrents of fire light up across the ocean and luffy turns around and you can see ace's kind of fire fire fiery body his fire ghost so to say standing back to back with sabo and they created this like 
tunnel of fire which the straw hats and the other supernovas can use to escape from the island and all of a sudden the movie credits roll down and Luffy's like thank you Sabo and he sees Ace and it's a really touching and emotional moment and that's how the movie wraps up and overall the movie's great as I said 9 out of 10 I enjoyed it a lot I couldn't understand everything obviously since my Japanese is not the best I got maybe like 60% of the dialogue so excuse me if the reaction was all over the place I didn't give you so many uh, as many details as I could have but give it a couple of months when it's when it comes out in the theaters in in the west make sure to go watch it it's an incredible show and um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one